I have seen stranger things. The one, the two, and the three, supposedly the last part of the series. The one I loved, the first first one, one first, and uh, the second one was good. It was quite good, but it was a bit messy as characters were not in the place for my taste. And this third one was different. It uh, it had odd choreography in fighting scenes. Some were believable, some were not that much believable, but stranger things. And uh, then there were quite uh, nice comic comic pieces here and there. Um, and then there were sad stories, tough stories, violence, death broken hearts, all sorts of things that life brings you anyways. And uh, mm, I loved I loved the references that I found the Easter eggs. Uh, there were this piece of uh, the band Yellow. It's music where there kind of some shades of their music and um, for my opinion music from from Twin Peaks and uh, then there were for example references from Alien quite di direct picture from there and other easter eggs I am not good at these film te theories but I have eyes um, uh, I didn't the character they built about this police the father of L uh, I didn't it was a bit oh it brought some annoying feelings from my soul and uh, a kind of I want to fight that person and I l at the same time I loved how they built the um, dynamics of these two to the mother and this father it, it was it was a playful ride as um, circus here the, the, the whole thing enjoyable and frightening circus um, and this Billy that was really violent person brought me some my own memories from my history and um, I didn't feel that comfortable he, he did look exactly like my ex uh, from past and uh, mm, the, there were two characters I loved a lot and the other one this American nerd who uh, knew how to translate Russia and this person from Russia and their dynamics were Excellent. I loved it. it was amazing to watch. And they they brought for my taste the needed spice there. I loved it. Mm. There were this small plant down 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 there in the caves that was shown a few times in a in a bright frame. Um, I don't know what that reference is, 
but it has to be very important plant, little mint or what, whatever the plant is. It was a quite small, um, but it was shown a few times with great care. So perhaps it has a big role in this story or some story to know. Ah, music was great. Um, ah, I was eating chicken, grilled chicken, when I watched this last series. So it was, it, it was interesting and um, Um, if you want to analyze what what this whole thing meant, uh, perhaps when you are teenager, you feel like you have powers. You feel like you have you have you are in some adventure and such, and then when you have to grow to the adulthood. You lose your power, you lose your adventure, you lose your, you break your heart. So this was heartbreaking to watch because it uh, had some elements that were a bit too close home, so to say, and uh, uh, the best thing in this last series, series it, as I see this is uh, as a, its own series, not first two and three, but the, this third one is for me its own world. So the, the best thing for me that I got from this was... Uh, it just don't matter how crazy you are, how old you are, how nerd you are, how psychotic you are. <laughs> There's always, there is always um, play that you are a piece of. And if you follow what you see as a, your own truth, uh, you do what you believe in and at the same time there are some oddities, some odd persons, some, some other nerds in their own places doing what they believe in, no matter what other people say. Perhaps someday you may save the world. The normal people, they don't have the skills because of their normality <laughs> to save the world. But those who are, in some sense, builded differently, those people have skills to do things not normally. Save the world, for example. So. You should watch it, you should enjoy it, don't break your heart while watching it. Take care, comrade. I want to start to learn Russian.